There's worry blowing through this desert camp. People here were promised they could return to Twerga six years after they were forced from their homes. But they've been blocked and even shot at by uniformed and plainclothes forces, just 27 kilometers from their hometown. We are here for the sake of our return based on the presidential decree issued in December for our return to Twaga on February 1st. Although aid agencies are delivering food, water and medicine, conditions are harsh. Here we will remain and maybe we will take a decision to travel onwards. We will have a white flag and an olive branch in the direction of Twaga. The siege of Misrata was one of the bloodiest episodes in Libya's civil war. Twerga fighters, many of them descendants of black African slaves, fought against Misrata militia to defend the former Libyan leader, Muammar Gaddafi. Some of them were accused of rape and other atrocities against Misrata residents. In an act of collective punishment, the entire city of up to 40,000 people was emptied after Gaddafi's fall. People were used to a certain way of life and suddenly it changed. We were used to houses, air conditioners, TV and cars. But now we live in tents, there is dust, cold and strong winds, and we live in very difficult conditions. And this is what awaits them in Twerga. It's a ghost town, but for those determined to return, it's still home. Barbara Ngopa, Al Jazeera.